We're on, guys. Do say something. Go through the side, reading from the back line. Back line is Bennett, it's Bennett, Baxter and Cardi. This is how they're lining up. Constable, Bingham and Fraser Main. Centre line is Glenn Tanner, Chris McKenzie and Darren Williams on the wing. Uh, the half forward line is Darren Seckle. No, sorry, Mark Seckle that should be. And Chris Krauss, they're only playing one, one half forward flanker, they're playing two wingmen. Full forward line is Wes Burns, Andrew Walden and Darren Seckel. The rucks are Kidgel, Connell and Meehan. And on the bench is Wayne Smith for his 100th game and Brett Steenholt. Is that Oliver? 77? Yeah. What? Yeah, it is. That's Oliver, yeah. yeah. Grand final. Kidgel will be up against Curtis, Curtis in the ruck. They haven't got right, they've got right at centre half forward. First bounce. I go, it's a good bounce. It favours Kidgel. They run into each other, nobody gets an effective knockout. Bingham comes through. Goes straight to Wits. He's Ish. caught. Gets rid of it quickly. The ball's going anywhere. Big thump to centre half forward for Williams. Constable goes wide. Chasing Williams. The big fella, he's first out there. He's got to beat two of them. He's still got the ball, can't handle it. It's on the ground. Ooh, Connell goes straight over the top and gives away a free kick. And that's Nelson. I think that's Nelson. Goes wide to the flank. Up flies Kidgel from behind, takes a good mark. Goes towards the centre. Looking for Tanner. He'll mark easily and plays on. Goes straight down the middle. He'll be looking for Mark Seckle. He's got a fly from behind. He had the sit. Can't get it. The ball's on the ground. It's cleared by OMs. Krauss going in. They're battling for it. Stolen by Burns, he's on his left foot, he goes towards the centre, looking for Seckle, goes too far. That's laid off back to, I think that's Nelson, yep, sidesteps, he's on his left, goes straight up the ground. And finds Wits, runs on, plays on nicely, gets it over the top, takes a bounce out there. Goes short looking for Oliver, but the ball runs out of bounds. In between the OM's forward pocket and half forward flank. Curtis in the ruck. Yeah. Looks like it's right. The kid will be up against right, but Curtis comes over the top of the ball. Nobody can get it clear. Constable's battling. Bit of it goes to Kidgel, the big fella over the top looking for Connell. It's not a good handball. A bit of a pilot, the ball's knocked forward. Back towards centre forward for Owens. And who's me in? Oh yeah, the coach takes it, takes one bounce, almost runs too far, he goes short, it's not a good kick. It's running through hands. Armstrong puts his body in, can't get it out. Finally does say to Burns. Burns gives it to Wilson. On the left to centre half forward, Krauss backs back, can't mark. Well rove though, Williams, good defence, defence work. Gives it to the to Pazarski, the veteran. He's going to the wing, he's looking for that. Is that you, Sunov? And he, no, he drops it. Drops a mark, he should have held. He's under pressure from Tanner, almost pushed in the back. Mackenzie goes in, still battling hard, you off. Mackenzie gets it out, does it nicely to Fraser Main. Well smothered. Kidgel is in everything, gets another kick. Goes to centre half forward. Oh, it's almost a good strong mark and it is paid. Centre half forward, they're right in the 50 metre line. Big Terrell with a kick for OMs. To centre group field. High flyer is right. Constable. And up high ground, picking out the free kick. To Constable. Just three minutes gone in the first quarter of the grand final. Constable falling short of Seckle. In the way is Peter Wood for OMs. Terrell's there. Quick gather by Burns. 
Armstrong the snap but wide and still no score in the grand final after three and a half minutes. Umpire Wiseman and Green in control. I thought Yusnoff uh, deserved a free before there, he was pushed yeah, in the back. Yeah, I thought so. Pazarski to half back. Curtis behind, Seckel. Nervous start by both sides? Yeah, the, no one can really uh, get much going at the moment. Curtis gets a push. Wits the kick, playing his 200th game. Seckel from 60 metres, long to the square. Pagasi, Pazarski at the back, under pressure from Walden. Good defence work, flight it out. Perfect conditions for footy today. Seckel gets a knock to Krauss, he'll have a shot, but he's offline again. Yeah, Krauss had more time then, much more time, wasn't aware that he did so, should have gone probably. Where is it? Uh, we've had two shots for goal, both out in the floor. So Curtis racking for OMs, Oliver full forward. Conclusion to combat the height of Halebury. Big Pazarski out to half back. Who's the target? Terrell's there in front. Inboard looking for Murphy, chipping in. McKenzie. McKenzie leg. going on with it. He's legged. It's tough. Tony Witz. Out to uh, Nichols. But uh, too close to the line. Five minutes gone, five and a half minutes gone, still no score in the B section grand final, 1990. And no breeze. I think the Fraser Main gets it. Goes in board, Owens. That's Wits gets another kick. Be looking, Bingham backs back into it. Ooh, should have marked, drops it. Baxter under the hammer. Baxter's defending desperately, can he run it out of bounds? Goes close to the boundary line. Oh, and it's called out of bounds by the boundary umpire. Looks to be in trouble then, Baxter, but uh, managed to defend pretty well. Pretty competitive opening. Still no score, six minutes gone. Snap by Nelson. Is it Nichols? It is. And Nichols scores the uh, first major of the grand final. Roving that pack from just 20 metres out, quickly uh, ball to foot. OK. Kidgel against, I think it's Curtis, is it? McKenzie follows. McKenzie's still battling. Can't find it. Connell's there. Connell, is, he cops one high, and he, and he does take. Owen's not happy. I think he ducked his head, but he was trying to pick the ball up, and they ran through him. Oh, definite free kick there. Connell goes up to centre-half forward, looking for Seckle. Good punch away by Owens. Tanner's there. He's got the ball. He's got a yard. Uses his pace. Goes wide. Back looking for Connell once more. Connell heads towards the flank. He'll be looking for Darren Seckel. Pack forms. Another good thump away by, I think it was Dowd. No Arnold. That's where Matty Armstrong can't get a proper kick. Wits is battling on the ground. At the mark, Seckel goes wide to Glenn Tanner. Side steps onto his right foot. Has a ping. And it might just slide home. It's a pretty good looking snap. It's a first goal. Good quick reply from Haley from Glenn Tanner after a handball from Darren Seckel. So hope on for OMs. Usnov off. Me look to be troubling him, but uh, Tanner troubling Usnov. So hope we'll hope to do better. Seckel's there. Tough in the middle. Terrell Murphy. Nelson pressured by Seckel and being held, getting the free kick from umpire Green. 50. And a 50, so right on uh, top of things early, perhaps a bit technical. Technical. It was against Darren Williams, I think. He picked up the ball and he just dropped it at his feet instead of giving it back to him. So Peter Nelson will kick from 60 metres. The pass into the pocket. Up goes Oliver, who's roving. Bennett. Out wide looking for Williams. Unlock it and lift it up more. Meehan. 
Busy, good use of the ball, fires the pass to half forward. Nice break, Kraus on the run. 10 metre break, in support is McKenzie. And how do we move forward? Looking good, up to Walden, that was beautiful play. Swift movement of the ball. Started by Meehan at half back. Pazarski, no chance on that. Walden from 50 metres. No breeze to the Glen Huntley Road end. Seckle just couldn't keep it in, or was it? Kraus roving, snaps it. And I thought that was through. The uh, OMs think it was, but neither the goal umpire nor the boundary umpire signal it. Hardlebury kicked their second. We're back, Hardlebury leading two goals to one at the 10 minute mark. Darren Williams has been dragged from the wing for giving away that 50 metre penalty. Wayne Smith has come on. McKenzie gets the ball out wide to Kidgel, a ruckman. He's under pressure, gets his boot to it. It's not effective. His little Matty Armstrong swoops on it. He's got time. He hooks it back, going, looking for the centre, looking for Walden. He can fly. No one comes down with it. Walden gets it. It's good recovery. Goes in ball, but nicely knocked out by Owens for a throw in. Yeah, good defensive work by Nichols there from the middle, back in defence. Just paddling it over. And uh, tight contest so far. Good defensive work in the air, fisting the ball away from those uh, dangerous forwards. Circle and Walden, Kraus, kick one, another snap. But he's under a bit of pressure. Now 30 metres out from Hartlebury's goal. Kidgel with Curtis. Curtis shorter but stronger. Arnold there for OMs. Connell comes, up with Connell. The, Go for it. Connell comes up with the seckles on his left. He's going towards centre. Tanner backs back, uses his body nicely but can't mark. Through comes the veteran, Bozarski, but Tanner, oh. Tanner, good recovery on the left from an impossible angle, hits the post. Oh. It's the first point of the game. Hardbury 2 1 13. OM's one goal only. At 11 and a half minute mark, Bozarski kicks out, goes to the left back flank. Kidgel flies and a good mark from the big fella. Plays on straight away to Dave Connell, who's got time if he's, he's under pressure. Comes through. Oh, it's a good hip and shoulder from Connell. Play goes on and it's paddled through to the point. He looks to be in a bit of a trouble there. That's Smith for OMs. Got the pretty heavy bump from Connell. The ball's rushed through from behind. Oh, what a bump. Cam Smith's a very tough player and uh, he'll be okay after that. Yeah, it's stunned him for a sec, but he's a good player. He got up, he'll be okay. Bozarski thinks about going short to Nichols. Switch aside, dangerously close to the line. And uh, fortune favouring OMs there, but uh, perhaps they were unlucky a bit early with that goal. So Wood with the kick. Curtis in front. Which is there too. Curtis got first hands to it, couldn't bring it down. First action in front of the Alex Johnson Pavilion. In comes Kidgel from the back, pushing into Curtis. He played for the free and gets it. And Greg Curtis over to Tony Witts. Stucky the target. Oh. Stucky ends up with a Nichols. Nice flip to Murphy. Inboard is Nelson. On the overlap is Webb. Through centre forward. Oliver lead short. Webb goes for goal. Perhaps a bad option. That's an easy mark. Baxter reads it nicely. He goes wide straight away. He's looking for Matt Armstrong out there. He hits him and it's good hands from the little fellow. He plays on straight away. Goes inside. Looking for Bingham. He gets his foot to the ball. That's pretty clever footy. Krause has got time. The ball sits up nicely for him. He goes inside. Goes towards the centre. Looking for Wallen again. Nicely punched away by Pazarski. Ball's on the ground. Another knock on, there's Walden again. It's a quick kick, Seckle, he's under pressure. Now it's time to straighten up, has a shot at goals. Is it hard? Indication in the crowd that it is. That's Hardbury's third goal from Seckle. 14 minutes gone, 20 plays six. A 14 point lead to the Bloods. Kidgel the tap, shark by Wits, fisted by Seckle, not getting much distance. Tony Wits to brother Andrew. Nichols back to Andrew Witts short to Oliver, intercepted. Webb is a left footer, long kick, wide putting uh, McDado under great pressure, but should have done better, Webb there. Yeah, they moved the ball nicely then, Owens. Some good handball, some good running, but it wasn't a good kick to position. Ford Puckett. 
O'Connell, sharp and snapped by Andrew Wits, but wide. Again, kicking under pressure from deep in the pocket. And Andrew, Billy Baxter will take the kick in from right on the point post. About halfway through the first quarter. A bit past halfway. OK, Baxter goes long. He's a good kick of the ball. And another great kick. Goes towards the wing. Bit of a pack flight. It's all OMs. No one can come down with it. Ball comes loose to Smith. He goes to centre forward looking for Seckle again. Gets a hand to it. Can't go. There's Burns. He's got time. Still handling. Seckle's battling well for a big fella. He flicks it back looking for Armstrong. Couldn't get it. Owens come through with a soccer off the ground. There's the coach, Mean goes short, but it's not a good pass. It goes straight to, I think that's Wood. No, it wasn't, it was Boyden. So Boyden with a kick at half back. Going wide, the OMs. Connell in good position in front of Curtis. He'll get around Curtis easily. Centering kick towards Armstrong. He's under pressure. The pressure's from right. Owens moving forward. Bad hand pass. Interception, Smith. Bang, not a good kick. That's making it hard for any forward. And there's none there. Good strong mark to Peter Wood. Oh, Borden it is. Borden. At half back. Bit stop and start in defence, the OMs. Looking for Wits. Too long for him. Constable. Oh, almost a mark. Armstrong, not Armstrong. Burns. Burns, centre and kick towards Tanner, but fine interception by Hope. Clearing kick to half back. Bozarski has to chase. Outnumbering two to one. With him is Wood. Chased by Walden. Bennett on the left. Gets it nicely. We're looking for Tanner. He's got the sit in front. He's got to beat two. That's good, strong hands from Glenn Tanner. Takes a good, strong mark. Man in front's paid. Against Hope. He plays on. He's on his right foot. Good attempt to smother by Hope, but it goes into centre half forward. Seckel got to sit. Burns is on the ground, he's got a chance for a snap, he's on his right foot, and he's just offline for another behind. 3-3, 21, Halebury, one goal, no behinds, OMs at the 17 minute mark. Bazarski to kick in again. Tanner clearly on top on his wing. Indeed he is. Two opponents, one years off, the other hope. Wits. Nichols being relatively quiet, looking to link it up. Do so, does so through Curtis. Back to Nichols. High ball, right. Pushing and shutting. Oh, fine mark for the big fellow. Fine mark, the two tall. Putting himself under pressure. High ball. Oliver gets the front position and marks strongly. Had to sit then and marked it well. He'll be kicking from just about right on the, uh, I think it's at a 45 metre mark, Ross. It is. Yeah. Kicks from right on there, you get the distance and the accuracy, I think. It's home. Two goals, two OMs. Halebury 3 3 21. The centre, Kidgel versus Curtis. It's a good bounce straight up. Kidgel gets a sick, gets another knockdown. Meehan's on the run, can't quite take it with him. Ball's in the centre there, OM's clearing. Goes wide looking for hopes. Not a good hand pass. Connolly intercepts over the top to Tanner. Tanner's on his left, just gets his boot to ball. It'll fall in short. Good defensive work, he gets a push and he fires the ball over the line. On Halebury's half forward flank, 19 minutes into the first quarter, the 1990 B-grade grand final. In the ball comes, Kidgel's almost late on the scene. Connell's in front against Curtis. Burns gets it off nicely to Crass, he's got time to steady. Fairly unorthodox kicking style and a pretty unorthodox result too. Always kicks like that? Yeah, very strange kicking style. But he kicked seven from a wing here against Q a couple of weeks ago. He didn't start. He didn't start playing football till he was 14. So. Always been a champion sprinter. Arnold takes it out for OMs. Good running football from defence. Stucky in front. Is well spoiled. Battles on. Mian. Hand pass is good. Smith. And, and Smith Bennett. marks. Smith to Bennett. Come on, Smitty. And Bennett gets a pretty wobbly little kick, and Smith was right at home there. He'll be kicking from about 43 metres. Usually a pretty reliable kick, the wingman. 1988 best and fairest. Started on the bench, replaced Williams. Lines him up, kicks from about 46. May drop short. Gets home, the accuracy there. It appears to be, and it's a good kick from Smith and another good goal.
4-3-27 Hale OM's two goals straight at the 20 minute mark. Curtis, just a slight edge on that one, Connell. Connell goes, Burns has got the sit but can't get the ball. He still battles on well, Burnsy. Going towards the boundary line, trying to keep it inside. Sidesteps nicely with pace but trips over lately. He's caught and how oh, and he gets it. Advantage played, Smith to Nichols. Through half back, using his pace, well tackled. Called out of bounds. Out well. He's right on the scene. Yeah. Good tackling by both sides then. First on Burns, then on Nichols. Nichols did well to keep it in initially with a hand, but uh, got pulled out of bounds. Right on the wing. Kidgel and Curtis again. It's a push against Curtis. Hey, it'll be big fella, will take it. Mackenzie and Witts having a bit of a chat to each other. Play goes on. Kidgel goes centre half forward. Good strong mark by Mark Seckle. He decides to play on, puts himself under pressure. He's on his left foot, has a shot. It's a bit offline. One behind only. 4 4 28. It's a two goals straight, approaching the 22 minute mark. That's amazing. Zaski looking for an option. He's going short to Wood. But he couldn't run on. That's what they need to do for that sort of play to work. Now I'd have to kick long towards Curtis. Kidgel in front. Does it so easily, the big fellow. And that defensive move has not worked. Kidgel goes centre half forward looking for Walden. He's got the sit. It's a great lead, a great kick. A great mark, almost paid, but he gets the free kick for over the shoulder eventually. He's playing very well, Ian Kidgel in the ruck. He's dominating there against Curtis. It was a good kick for the big fella. Walden will be shooting for his second. Thought he marked it anyway. Yeah, I yeah, thought I it was a mark. mark. Yeah. It was a great pass. There wasn't much that Pazarski could do about that. Walden lining up for his second. Approaching the 23 minute mark. Kicking from just outside 40. Lays back on it. I think it's off line. Drifts across again. Just a point. If he'd work on his kicking, Wally, he'd be... Uh, much more valuable. Pazarski goes the outer side no. and right on the ball or up from centre half forward takes the strong mark out wide towards Stuckey. He's caught in the middle. Mackenzie gets it, goes wide, gets it inboard again. Constable playing out of position but he's down in the forward flanks court, can't do anything with it. Stuckey. Stuckey trying to link up with Wits. Bad hand pass. Wits fumbles it. Stolen by McKenzie. McKenzie's got time. Goes wide up to Meehan. Meehan. Armstrong. Oh, it was Armstrong. Chips it up there. Oh, Seckel gets a pretty savage push right in the back and he'll take a free kick. Doing well, Mark Seckel. Goes short. Looking for Armstrong. He's got time. He's under pressure now. He's kicking from a shotgun angle. He's pushed down after he kicks it. The ball will go downfield to Walden. Wally, Meehan. Didn't really see the incident, I was watching the flight of the ball. But... Well, the culprit was Andrew Witts who uh, downed the player. Tony Witts, Jeremy Nichols was hurt in the middle. Yeah, Tony Witts it was. But a costly uh, penalty downfield though. Walden is on the angle. He's kicked one. And the other short is on to Tanner. It's good work by Tanner. He just drifted in then. It was a good drilling pass too. No problems about the distance here for Glen Tanner. Yeah, he's a good kick. Great ball skills, Glen Tanner. He'll be kicking from about 43, I reckon. The angle shouldn't be a problem, or the distance, as Lassa said. Kicks. It's a nice looking kick. Is it drifting back enough? I think it could be offline. It's another point. You're right, Nichols is hobbling centre half forward there with an ankle, but uh, loosening up a little bit. You wouldn't want to lose him. No, Zaski short to Boyden. Didn't work last time because they got no run. Webb's a target at half forward. He's at the back. Harlebury with the numbers. Kidgel. Good smother by Smith. Wits back to Smith. Kidgel's there too. Smith takes it forward. Stuckey. Oh, Bingham. High. Hope. Well tackled. Beautiful tackle by Bingham. Good strong tackle by Bingham on Hope. <laughs> Ball comes in. Kidgel off the ball at the moment. Bingham will ruck. 
Mackenzie's there. Almost on. Stucky with the ball. It's the pocket. Cut off by Mick Constable and runs it out of bounds. A minute and a time on. The first quarter. A little breeze springing up, helping uh, OMs. Tony Wicks. Playing for it is Usenov. Baxter comes through, steals it, and runs it out of bounds again. Good offensive footy. He's got a length in them, both of them. No, not that one. Both of them, back one. How are you going, Peter? Are you getting it at all? <laughs> Technical problems. Play goes on. Stucky holding Kidgel. Kidgel gets his right arm free and fists its goal. We're still fighting on. Murphy there for OMs. Nelson. Main to McConnell. Through the middle, Hale will be moving forward. Walden on the break. In front. Boyden there putting pressure on Walden, and OMs have the numbers. Boyden clearing. No one to kick to. It's just Smith out there for Halebury, but the, that line might be too close. Keeping it in play cleverly. All the time. Not much of a kick coming back from Smithy. He had plenty of time then to keep it in. Nicely scooped out to Dave Connell. That's nicely thumped forward by OMs. Off the ground by Smith. Interception. Back to McKenzie. Steals it again. Man with great hands on the left foot. Goes towards centre half forward. There's Burns. Where's Burns? Under all sorts of pressure. Armstrong. Armstrong. Connell's got it again. Twists and turns. Back on the right. Ball goes nowhere. It's scrambly sort of play down the Halebury forward line there. Nobody could get an advantage. The ground viper is asking, it's run out of bounds again. Three minutes in the time on. Throwing again, Darren Seckle against Wright. No one can get a clear knockout. Krause is there, almost taken high, comes back on his right foot, goes towards the centre. It's cut off nicely. The OMs have Curtis off the ground, uh, Wright having a go on the ruck and using off uh, at half forward. So one big man short momentarily. Webb towards Stuckey. Murphy at ground level for OMs. Constable's battling hard. It'll be a, a ball up, I think. Umpire Green comes in. Approaching the 29 minute mark of the first quarter, Umpire Green bounces. Kidgel's back in the ruck against Stuckey. Stuckey goes too early. Kidgel gets a knock. Kidgel goes a second time. Wits, backs his judgment, gets caught, comes through. Seckle at the back, lays it off to Krause, who steadies. But he's offline again, one behind. Another point to Krause, 4-7, Halebury to two straight goals. Bozarski to right at half back. He's into the first quarter. And the scores being Halebury 4 7 31, Old Melbourneians two goals straight. Jeez, if they kick straight. Yeah, that's, that's chances. Okay, quarter time, Halebury 4 7 31, OMs two goals straight. Greg Lascock's been down the boundary line to hear what Alan Stoneham had to say to the OMs players. Lass? Uh, the OM's coach Steiner mainly said for their players to run harder at the ball and have more crumbles in the forward line. He didn't think there was any crumbles in the forward line. And I'm sure Simon for Old Haley would have liked to um, have capitalised better in front of goal. 4-7 is not good enough from 11 shots at goal. Pretty fair comments from all concerned. We're about to get underway. The second quarter of the 1990 B-grade grand final, Old Haley and OMs. Bit of a breeze has sprung up now. Probably be favouring uh, the OM's end this, this end, I'd say. Kidgel back in the ruck against Wright. I don't think the move of Curtis to the ruck was much good against Kidgel. Kidgel dominated most of the ruck hitouts there. He took quite a number of marks and got kicks around the ground as well. Usenov's been moved to the back pocket on Burnley. Usenov's been moved from OMs. Kidgel gets a big thump straight towards the half forward flank. Kidgel, Krauss knocks it straight on the mean and will have a shot but he gets hammered as the ball's paid. The free kick to the Halebury coach Simon Meehan, he just Got unloaded as he kicked the ball, ended up being a pretty ineffective kick. It was against Tony Witts. 
and the coach will have a shot for goal 21 seconds into the second quarter. All started for me and Kidgel. Another big knock from Kidgel in the centre and a good knock on from Krauss went straight into the coach's arms. He tried to straighten up and steady. Just got pushed off the ball by Tony Witts and will take the free kick as a result. Kick from about 45. Me and, sorry, me and lines up. Distance and accuracy shouldn't be a problem to a player of his experience. Nice looking kick, drifting back nicely with a breeze. And it's a goal to Halebury. It's right on one minute into the second quarter of the 1990 Grand Final. 5 7 37. 25 points in the margin now. After one and a half minutes of the second term. Bozarski in the ruck. Hope running with a flight. Out comes Oliver. Interception, Baxter. Tanner. Tanner on the left looking for Dave Connell running with a flight. Goes too far. He's still got a nice sit. Connell's on the left, takes a bounce. Instead, he goes towards centre half forward looking for Warns. A beautiful lead and a beautiful pass. Good football. Started with Baxter back in the back pocket, got the handball away, and they moved it nicely all the way down the ground to Walden, who was on the lead beautifully. And a great pass from Connor. Walden, he's been pretty inaccurate so far. He's kicked one and missed a couple of other set shots. Looking for his second. I think he's offline again. I think that's his third or fourth behind from uh, Port E. Walden. 5 8 to 2 straight. Apologies to Rick Pazarski, it was right in the ruck before. Lead from Boyden. Bit more run there. Andrew Wetz over the top and a good fist away by me. It's on the Halebury flank. OM's deliberately going short from full back every time. Yeah, it's interesting, They've uh, most times they've hit a play but they haven't been able to get, get on with it and create the loose man after that, which is obviously the aim when you're going short from the kick in. And lots of uh, opportunities to practice that because the ball's been in Halebury's forward line much of the game. Arnold. Lovely tap from Nichols. Couldn't find Webb. Nelson there. Seckle heaves it out. Oh, that's caught with the ball. Neil Wright being penalised. Kick going to Seckle. Walden leads to the pocket. Chipping in his Terrell at half back. Walden showing some physical presence on Terrell. High ball. It's a fe feast of uh, Halebury players there. Bingham missed it. Armstrong. He's tackled. Well, he's a little bit high. A bit high on Boyden. He'll get the free at half back. Stucky leads wide to the pocket. Meehan. Smith. Smith. No one home for Smith. I think that's Terrell again. Takes a good strong mark. Yeah, Terrell doing a reasonable job on Mark Seckle. Kicks uh, not good. That's putting uh, great pressure on Smithers he, having to fly against Bingham. Constable. Goes in board to Smith. Smith's under pressure, gets his kick to it. Ball bounces wildly. Going through. That's Krauss, does it well. Almost gets lead. Can't do much with it. And it's out in the full. I think that was from Andrew Witts. Spot it, Cart, spot it! Brett Carty will take the free right in front of the crowd. Heads towards the centre. From the back was Connell. Couldn't mark. In there's Kraus. He's caught. Connell comes out with it. Tries the backhanded hand pass. There's no one there. Comes through. Burns with pace. Onto Bennett. Connell again. Knocks it on. Can't quite get clear. Halebury there. Connell still chasing it. Gets it again. Flicks it out wide looking for Kraus. The ball comes back. Inside is Bennett. Falls over the ball. There's Main. Coming through. Tanner gets it out eventually to Connell. He's got time. He's on his left. He chips it back to centre half forward, looking for Seckle. Gets under the ball, can't bring it down, but good recovery from OM's going wide. Webb clears wide, but it's all hard to be. Oh, good effort in the end by Nelson to spoil on Smith. He shows a bit of toe too to Smith. The kicker poor one. Good pressure. Boyden misses it. Armstrong, the chance. Great pace. Centering kick is good. No one there. Very good play by Armstrong. It's goal square. Goal square. Tony Witts has got it. Plays on, has a bounce. Goes wide. 
At the back is Bennett. Millie pulls in a good mark. Play on's the call. Fraser Main's battling hard. Good tackling. Mackenzie comes through. Can't pick it up. Finally gets it. Sidesteps nicely. Gets a short one. Looking for Mark Seckle. Can't pick it up. Finally does so. Almost a throw out towards Kraus on the right foot. He goes short looking for the other Seckle, the captain, Darren. And he marks quite strongly about 43 metres out in a 45 degree angle. He'll have a shot, the skipper. First touch to Darren Seckle? Yeah, he hasn't had too many uh, looks at the ball so far, Sec. He's uh, contested well, but he hasn't pulled in many marks. Interestingly, that's the first one he's held and he was uncontested. He lines him up. His brother Mark has done most of the uh, heavy work in the forward line so far. Darren having a shot now on an angle. Not a bad looking kick, but drifting away to the right. There's another behind. It's 5 9 39 Halebury. OM's two straight, almost seven minutes into the second quarter. Poor kicking again from Old Halebury. They have to convert. 14 shots to two. Seven minutes gone, second quarter. Pazarski goes wide and short again. Armstrong doing the spoiling. Nelson didn't look. Didn't matter, there was no one to kick to. Smithers in front, cleverly over the top to Webb. Webb with the paddock in front. Leading is Oliver. Webb over the top to Stuckey. Stuckey has an open goal. Looks up towards Oliver. Baxter nearly cut it off. First time for a while, Owens really looked like they were about to start creating something, but it's cut off by McKenzie. He goes short, looking for the boundary line and just runs it over nicely. He had no one to kick it to. It was good thinking by McKenzie. McKenzie's just a very good footballer. Thanks for that, lad. Definitive statement. Special comments. He is a great player. Owens looked like they were getting their running game moving there, but uh, the pass wasn't quite there. Yeah, game not opened up yet. Nichols, quick kick, but under pressure once more. Baxter comes through and has to run it out. The game hasn't opened yet, but it's still tight. Nerves have gone, but uh, no easy kicks out there. Perhaps in the third quarter, he might see the game become a bit more free-flowing. OM's in attack. Stucky against Kidgel. Kidgel uses the body well. I didn't think that was a free kick. He held his ground. And your joking comes a crawl from the crowd. And Stucky must be a bit far out to score. Oliver goes short, but it's a very crowded forward line. There's no gap in which to run. Stuckey will go for distance. A nice kick from here. Bingham dropping back on the line. That it's not a bad kick, kick off the boot. Over the side, Smithers. Still in play. It's Dado, who's been quiet. Tanner picks it off. Can't do anything with it. The ball goes out of bounds. There weren't many options for Stuckey then. He, uh, he was looking for them, but it was pretty crowded in the Owens forward line. Ball comes in now. Bingham will fly. Bennett picks it up on the left. He heads up to the wing looking for Tanner. Yusilnov's back on the wing and he marks strongly. Held his ground well against Tanner. Looking for something, Yusilnov. Wants to play on. Finally goes short. It's touched off the boot by Tanner. Picked up by McKenzie on the left. Heads towards centre half forward, Mark Seckle. Mark Seckle was out position. He wasn't playing in front. He was easily outmarked. Craig Terrell, centre half back, long bomb, bad kick, once more, use of the ball very poor by OMs. Yeah, Bingham takes a good mark, he heads towards the centre, looking for Wayne Smith who marks on his chest, runs around, plays on as expected from that player, pretty wobbly looking kick looking for Dave Connell, Dave's got a yard but he shows a bit of uncharacteristic pace from Dave Connell, Walden's on the lead, he goes short, it's a great looking kick and a great pass, good mark, but a beautiful lead that started from Walden. Almost before the time Connell got to the ball. Good anticipation from the full forward, whose kicking's let him down so far in this game. He'll be kicking from 45, 46. Looking for a pass. Matty Armstrong having a word to him. I think he'll be having a shot. Wanders in on a bit of an angle. It's a nice looking kick. Distance won't be there, lobs in the square. They all fly and it's rushed through by uh, Nichols for a behind. 5-10 Halebury, 15 scoring shots to two. They're 40 points, OMs, two goals straight, 12. Well, the match slipping away from the OMs. They need goals. Halebury, if they'd kicked or converted, would have had the match won already. Paul smothered off the boot, be another throw in. Out on the bound. boundary line. On out the boundary. Bounds. 50 metre line. Kidgel up. They're bustling, nobody gets the ball. Kidgel gets his fist to it eventually, but picked off. Nicely roved, actually. 
Use and off to Webb. Well, that's a dangerous hand pass, but found a man in Nelson. He looks to stuck. He runs into a wall of players. It was Constable. Tanner. Tanner gets the kick. He finds Connell. It's good work. Connell plays on to McKenzie. They combine together well, those, those players. McKenzie under trouble, in trouble now. Gets it off to Mark Seckel. Runs inside. He's on his left. Kicks to centre-half forward. And a good mark over the top there. Yeah, Lean had first had, hands. Ah, uh, yeah, but was taken out of his hands by right. It was a good mark. Now, Witz is under great pressure. From Kidgel. Ball's come through. Is that Meehan, I think? Steadies. Pops it through to goal. What's the result? That's a great goal from the coach, and it's good work. That's his second. It was good work by Kidgel then to run down Witz and create that opportunity. Great work from Ian Kidgel. Ran down Andrew Witz and made him look slow. <laughs> 46 plays 12. 12 minutes gone. Second quarter. Can Kidgel win it again? Oh, Kurt, right it was. Ran straight at the man, Kidgel, and Kidgel gets the free kick. Right, didn't even look at the ball then. And a 50 metre penalty against Wright. That silly play. This will be costly. The game slipping right away. Halebury right on top. That brilliant goal by Meehan. And surely another to follow. Kids all have a shot now. Yeah, it was silly play by Wright. He didn't even look at the ball at that, that uh, bounce. And then smothered the ball as it was coming back to Kidgel. Paid the penalty with 50 metres. Kidgel will have a shot from inside 45. He's a good kick for a big man. Very agile. He lines him up, strolls in. Not a bad looking kick, but I think it's drifting away. That's just one behind. 5, 6, 11, 47, Halebury. OM's two straight at the 13 minute mark of the second quarter. And Pazarski chooses that short option again, but Smith can run on this time. Bit of pace in short to Andrew Witz. Bad kick, very bad kick. Did not look comfortable in the way. Switches played, out of side. Intercepted by Murphy. Will use his pace. Oh, good tackle by Tanner. Murphy whips it out towards Smithers. Free at half forward, centering kick. Not a bad option. Stucky is late on the scene. A great mark. To Baxter. Baxter takes a bounce, takes a second, and comes back to him eventually. Looking to go over the top. It's a good shepherd from Burns. Baxter heads towards the wing, looking for Seckel. Gets the sits. Well roved by Matty Armstrong. He has to chip it round his body. He'll be looking for Darren Seckel. Nicely punched away by Arnold. He's, uh, he's had Darren Seckel's measure so far. We're we'll throwing in the pocket. I doubt that Oliver is fit. He just doesn't look at it. It's not right. Connell over the top. <laughs> is that Wits? Yeah, it was Tony Wits. Under a bit of pressure on the left. Couldn't keep it in and sprayed it out of bounds. Ball comes back to Simon Mee and he'll take the resulting free. Crowd like that one. <laughs> He's a bit of a crowd pleaser for the Halebury crowd. Simon will be looking. For someone, he centres the ball. Nice looking kick to centre half four. The pack forms. OMs, it's all OMs. It thumps it away from their own player. McKenzie's there. Goes straight through, running backwards. Gets it to Seckle. He tries to do too much. He should have taken the first option. Through his Tanner. Sidesteps beautifully. He's on his left. Goes short looking for Connell, but it's picked off nicely by Hope. Andrew Hope, centre half back. Nothing to kick to. Chooses to go long. Mick Datto is the man he's looking for. Over the back. Nichols there with Bingham. Bingham gathers, still in possession. He's done it well, the big fellow. Out to Constable, misses it. Smithers finessing for a free. Up towards Oliver, still with it. In comes Smithers. Down he goes, ridden into the ground by Bingham. And will get the free if he doesn't lose it in the meantime. But a bit tiggy touch with that one. Whether it was in the back, it was given holding the man. Oliver loose in the square at the moment. Smithers thinks he can kick it. And kick from about 46 metres. Smithers won't quite get the distance and the big fist of Constable, is it? Baxter, Baxter it was. Yeah, Halebury backline playing pretty well and it get down there. Oh, Wednesday, yeah, they can't quite find the loose man and their, their disposal into the forward line hasn't been good enough to give themselves a chance. Baxter goes up to centre. Bingham. Looking for Bingham. He gave away that last free kick. He flies, can't bring it down on the ground. 
with the Dados running towards it. Well, that's good, quick hands. Is that a goal? Yes, it is. To Rick Webb. Good, quick footy from Owen Zetel. So it's still a tight contest. Hard to be in control, but haven't wrapped it up as yet. OM's hanging on. Connell the fist. In front, Smith with Kraus giving away the free. If Smith can get an advantage, he can't. And the umpire must call it back. So these set players are where OMs are breaking down. There's not enough run, there's no movement. Stucky makes a lead, it's far too short. Smith just bombs it towards centre half forward. There'll be a big Hartleby man there. One, it's not big, it's Kraus. Fall of the ball is Smithers. Main clears to centre wing. Intercepting Murphy. Tanner is there with him. Murphy, nice gather. Short to Stucky. On the half volley, couldn't gather it. Burns gets it over back to Tanner. He's got time to steady. He goes towards centre half forward. It's not a good looking kick. Oh, Mark Seckel comes through with a pretty wild arm and Tony Witz will take the free kick. Wasn't a good kick into the forward line. Very unlike Mark Seckel. Unlike Mark Seckel to uh, throw in a stray arm like that. Now it's been a call. Played downfield against Hurry against Mark Seckel. Once again, uncharacteristic to uh, back chat the umpire and give away a free kick. But, uh, Indeed it was. Uh, right takes the kick. Mick Datto, one hand. Brett Carty comes through. Good, good work from the back pocket play. Gives it to Wes Burns, who's got time. Goes wide to Tanner. He'll be on his left. Walden. Goes short, looking for Walden. It's another fantastic lead and a beautiful pass from Tanner. Now Walden, he's only kicked one, I think, and he's had numerous opportunities. Great hands from Carty to set that up. Thanks, Les. And a beautiful kick by Tanner, who's really showing his class. Walden, can he kick his second? From straight in front, that's better, off the boot. No doubt about that. How do we kick their seventh? 7 11 53, OM's 3 1 19, 18 minutes gone. All right, was he spinning? Really? Well, that was uh, Walden's first. Meehan has two, one to Seckle, Tanner, Kraus, and Smith. Kidgel, pressured by Wright. Main, Smith it was, Nelson. Paddling in front of Armstrong, who's got the ball and gets a free kick. Could have gone either way, but the man in position given the advantage. Armstrong goes to centre forward. Connell sits himself. Big pack flies. No one brings it down. Meehan's splits the pack and goes running towards the open goal, but he's offline, I think, and he's kicked it behind. Tanner was calling for it in the pocket. Probably could have steadied instead of running at full pace into goal. He likes to have those shots on the run, Simon, and uh, he would have backed himself home there. 7-12 now, Halebury. Not good kicking. Pazarski wide again. Don't like these tactics much at all. To Tony Witz. A bit of run. They create space in the centre square, but there's no one there. Interchange with brother Andrew. Back to Tony Witz. Wide to centre wing. Right marks. Away they go. Better moving football. Murphy. Looks to Oliver within Baxter. Oh, Baxter does well. Keeps the ball in front. Hope left it behind. Ohm still a chance. Murphy. High one. Stucky, the big fella, roving. Webb is a left footer. And does it very well, Richard Webb, for his second of the quarter. And Ohm's hit back. 7 12 54 plays 4 1 25 after 21 minutes of the second quarter. Okay, back in the centre, Kidgel and Wright. None of them can get the ball. Through comes Nichols. He can't. Connell's got it. Held by one arm, finally gets his, ball, his boot to it. Armstrong's leading in the race for it. He's got it. He turns back inside. Wayne Smith will be calling for it. He gets it eventually. It's good work from Armstrong. Smith's got five, and he has pace to burn. He goes to centre looking for Walden again, but was a, not a bad-looking kick or lead, but it was picked off in the middle. Usenlock. By Usenlock. Apparently he was one of OM's better players against Q last week in the preliminary final. Didn't have your strategist out there? Oh, I think we may have had one or two people down having a look. Bozarski, but again they go very wide. It's coming unstuck, Main. the mark by Main. Good, strong mark by Fraser Main, the little fella. Thinks about playing on. Finally goes on with it now on the left foot. In towards the half forward flank. Mark Seckel could be too late. No, I was going to say could be too late, but he came through nicely to take that mark. Great mark. That was a good mark. 
Goes back going short, looking for Walden again, but Dave Conn will be there. Should have marked and pulls it in on the second grab. Did it pretty nicely then, Dave Conn, the ruck driver. And he'll have a shot, he'll be looking for his first. Connell, be shooting from about 45, angle's not a problem. Going for his first goal. Offline again. Uh, we've had 21, 20 scoring shots now for only seven goals. 23 minute mark, 7.13.55. 4-1-25. I think uh, Pazarski has his hands full with Walden. I don't know what other options Alan Stanham's got, but uh, Walden has just got far too much pace and Hale are exploiting that uh, very well with uh, leaving Walden plenty of space to run into and the kicking's been very good to him. If only he could kick straight, he would have had about six till now. Pazarski goes wide looking for... Jeremy Nichols, the captain, he marks in the pocket. He's been reasonably quiet, plays on now. Oh, there's been a 50 metre penalty against Connell. Even though Nichols played on, the umpire said he hadn't in fact called play on, so it's a 50 metre penalty against Connell. Yeah, I'd put Ian Arnold back on Walden. Although he's doing a good job on Seckle. Might be robbing Peter to pay Paul. Yeah, Rick Pazas has been a great player for Ohms over the years, but he's got his hands full with Walden today. So he can't take the mark. He's Burns. Picked up by Burnsy. Picks it up in the half volley. That's good hands from the young fella. Goes in board to McKenzie. He's got time. Steadies up. Goes on the right. Looking for Walden again. Ball's not home. Darren Seckle's got time. Goes inside. Back on his left foot. Gives it back to Krauss. Tries to kick it off the ground. It's not there. Finally picked up by Zad Walden. Andrew Porky Walden gets his second with a snap from the yard goal square. Krauss had the opportunity to kick it off the ground and had a fresh air shot. Be Kidgel against Wright. Kidgel flies, gets the knock. Not to in particular, Connell's there, under pressure. Ball back inside to Nelson. Ooh, it's a pretty strong tackle. Play on as the call. Picked up by me and drives it into full forward. Bolden backs back. Burns on the left from the pocket. He's hooked it too far, and it's right across and out of bounds on the four. Yeah, Steen hold on for Kraus. I don't know why. Perhaps that uh, muck up in the goal square being... Uh... Penalised. Cam Smith. Kick and mark football. Terrell. The centre half back. Uznov. Armstrong. Can't pick it up. Finally does. Good. It's a great tackle by Smith, and he's paid holding the ball. Armstrong. Well, that is it. I mean, the ball was knocked there in the tackle. Well, it was a very fine tackle, but I couldn't see uh, why he should be penalised because as the as the players tackle, the ball's fallen clear, but a very fine tackle. It happens a bit these days. They don't sort of pay holding the ball, but they pay like a congratulatory free tackle. for the perfect the tackle. Perfect tackle. And, and the fellow with the ball didn't really deserve a free kick against him, but uh, the tackler gets paid for laying a good tackle. The end result, Smith will be having a shot from the pocket. It's oh, way too wide. It's coming back, but it's just a point. 8 14 62 Halebury. Old Melburnians 4-1-25, we're about a minute and a half into time on in the second quarter. And a hot day, players looking for this break. Not much breeze, temperature about in the uh, high teens or even into the 20s. Oh, I'm short again from the kick out. But again, nothing to run onto. It's not worth doing if you can't run. Awful kick by Uzanov. Fisted away by Kidgel. Connell, pressured by Hope. Good work by uh, Smith there, the side bump. Connell goes short. Steenoff is on. Steenoff, well done. Pace gives it, gives it away though. Usenoff playing for it and losing it. No, he wasn't. I thought he uh, might have finessed too much. Bit of run now from Nichols, but going very wide. Nice, well, it wasn't too nice by Cardi. Just a little nudge, spotted by umpire Green. Owens get the free kick. And it goes to Mick Datto. Into the pocket. Once more they go. Did the ball have to come back? Will it? No, it was stop start. Right. Making hard work of it. Wits. Good smother Connell. And Halebury clear to centre wing momentarily. Nichols. Armstrong brilliantly in. 
Burns it is. Easy to confuse those two. Should have got the free kick. Inboard Tanner. Nice skills. Gets around his opponent. In towards McKenzie. Mayan. Mayan. High ball. Fisted away. Good one by Nelson. It's on behind play. Constable. To half. Well, attempting to go to half forward. Inside the line. Okay. Must be very close to siren time. 28 minutes gone, no Ruckman on the scene. Now comes Kidgel and Stuckey. And Bingham. Bingham comes out the back, out the back to, to Meehan, who's got the run, goes towards full forward. There's no Halibri men in front. Ball knocked away nicely by Pizarski. Steen Holt, fresh man on the ground, comes streaming across. Can't get quite the fight of the ball. He's almost there now. Tanner running the fly of the ball. That's a courageous mark. Goes back towards centre forward. It's a beautiful pass. Mark Seckel couldn't hold the mark though. Through comes the coach man. He's on his left. Goes wide looking for, I think that's Steenholt. Fresh man couldn't quite hold the mark. He's had plenty of time. Pops it through. Is that a goal? And yes, it is to Brett Steenholt. Pretty casual then. It takes him on the 9 14 68 to 4 1 25. 29 minutes mark of this second quarter. Magnificent job by our cameraman here. <laughs> <laughs> Webb. Bennett. Bennett is there. He's lost sight of the ball. Good shepherding by Constable. Allows Bennett to get a clear kick. He does so. Wide. McKenzie is underneath it. So to is Smith, who's playing a very fine game. Thought about giving it to Carty. He goes boundary line instead. Looking for Connell. Boyden with him. And Connell is free kicked. And he'll go on, won't waste any time. The lead's from Darren Seckel. Here's the kick from Connell. Into centre forward. Right the spoil. Nice grab by Wits. Flips out the hand pass. Intercepted. Bingham. And loose Burns. is Burns. He wanted to go on with it. Now he goes the other way. Squaring kick. Tanner. And Hallibur getting right on top now. Easy possessions coming their way. Walden calling for it in the square. Here it comes. But he's got right to contest. And Terrell. And yeah, Steenhold doing in everything since he's come on. Can't quite get his boot to that properly. Tony Witts gets it in the back pocket. Kicks it along the ground playing for touch. Fraser Main leads in the race for the ball. Will it beat him over the line? No, he's got it now. Turns around onto his left foot, goes into the pocket. Not a good kick. Picked off in the pocket. By, I think that's Nelson. I think Tony Witts might have the job on Walden now and Pazarski picking up Darren Seckel, but uh, it may be too late. McKenzie to Kidgel. Kidgel runs onto his left foot, very agile for a bloke his size. Pops it onto his right foot. Now Walden using his body well, but the siren beat them both. That's half time of the second quarter, the Scoreboard 1990 tennis. grand final scoreboard. Halebury 9 14 68, Old Melburnians 4 1 25. And the goal kick is in that uh, first half. Two each to Walden and Meehan. And singles to Sean Holt in that quarter off interchange. Tanner, Seckel, Kraus and Smith. And for Old Melbourne's Webb kick two in the quarter. And the single goal kick is Oliver and Nichols. So it's 68 to 25 at half time of the grand final. With big lead to Halebury. Webb gets it out of the centre for OMs. Kicks to half forward. Hope chasing with Maine. Hope having trouble picking up deep into that flank they go in the OMs. Main for Halebury at half back. Spearing kick to half forward. At the fall of the boards. Boyden, good tackle there, yeah, but it's a bit higher. Well, we're a long way away. So Halebury, had they kicked straight, would have had this match in the Premiership sealed by now. Be hard to see them going down from here. Connell, strong mark. Maybe 50. It's going the other way. Well, we are a long way away. <laughs> Settle down, Connell. Arnold wins the free kick. Oliver leading. Thought that he's not quite fit. It's a good lead, though. Doesn't get a hand on it. Murphy trying to thread his way through. Whips out the hand pass. Bingham intercepts. Here come the Bloods. Smith. Yeah, 
Brett Senok could have run a little bit harder at the ball then. Just tend to jog along a bit. Yeah, he looked a lack in confidence, just waiting for a teammate to come in. Okay, Bingham will fly in front. Gets a bit of a nudge. Play on. Meehan gets out of the back of the pack, goes, and Mark Heckles in front, takes a strong chest mark, gives it back to Tanner. He goes on the lead looking for Waldo. Will he make it? He, oh, he got it to his chest but couldn't hang on to it. Armstrong's in there. Tony Witts has got the run of the ball. Witts paddling it in front of him, heading towards the boundary line. Darren Sheckles on his hammer. He keeps it inside. Witts, Armstrong cuts it off. Still battling hard, Tony Witts. Bit of a pile-up. Ball trying to knock it free. Hard to see what's really happening. Oh, he's called against Darwin Williams, failing to knock it on. Deliberate out of bounds, Soss. Oh, deliberate out of bounds, was it? Chris McKenzie will take the free. It's Burnsy, is it? So it is, he heads towards centre half forward. It's a pretty wobbly old kick and right takes a chest mark. Diving chest mark. Plays on straight away to Jeremy Nichols on the left. Heads up in the back flank. Didn't really look. Bounced off somebody's head, I think, then. Back to Andrew Witt. Ball goes wide. Somebody's tackled without the ball. Play on's the call. Ball goes wide again. Harry's trying to paddle it forward. 200 metres away and still the game not rising to a great standard, still tight, still scrappy. And up by Wiseman will bounce it. On centre wing. Three minutes gone, no score in the third quarter. Kidgel, big leap, McKenzie feeding it out. Looks like Burns, he's under pressure from Murphy. And Terrell in front of Seckel, but Seckel knew it was going over the line. So a 33 point lead to the Bloods, like that 43, <laughs> still no breeze to speak of. Murphy in there, whipped out the hand pass by Connell to Burns. The pressure is there, intercepted Pazaki, this is better, switch in play, out to Smith. Nothing much to kick to, he'll have to run with the ball, Seckle bearing down on him. Kick out to Steenhoff, Stucky, oh. Gets a bad bounce, Tanner. Beautiful delivery into McKenzie. Connell's there, the hand pass falls at his feet. Connell, a nice gather. Into Burns, back to Connell. Nichols there to put the pressure on. Walden in pretty, uh, Seckle in pretty good position. It's neither of them, it's Darren Seckle. Paddle down, in front. The snap, centering kick, Walden. Fist, oh, and gets right on the point of the jaw. Yeah, he's Never gives away the ball too easily. Walden, he cop right with the high one who plays on, goes wide. We're looking, sets himself nicely, can't keep it in. Yes, he can. Oh, he runs out of bounds with it now, and that was Smithers. Took the ball out of bounds. OM's having a bit more of a dip in this second half. A bit more desperation. Kid oh. nudges him out. Oh. Yeah, can't agree with that. I mean, they're both going for the ball. Yeah, that's a very. Tiggy touch, free kick. Right with the kick. And fortunately, falls into the arms of Boyden. That was in the back. Boyden gets a free. Webb will give him the ball. Now, calling for it is Peter Wood. And again, stop start footy by the OMs. High ball. Arnold was the uh, man it was intended for, but Stucky fell in as the ball fell short. His kick's a poor one. Crisscrossing the ground. Down goes Daddo. Through comes Nichols. Tanner may get it just before the line. No, he won't. So still no score in the third quarter. We've had five minutes. Yeah, still pretty scrappy start to this quarter. No one can really get on top. OM's looking marginally better than they did in that first half. Ball goes up. Bingham's there. He gets the ball out the back towards Meehan. It's picked off by Constable. He goes back inside to Meehan. Picked off, goes towards centre. Oh, Hope tries to flick it back. The Constable intercepts. Gets it over the top to uh, Wayne Smith, who can't hang on to it. Knocks it on cleverly. Picking up the ball is Baxter. Goes inside to Bingham, who's got time. Goes right up the centre towards, looking for Walden. Bustling with... Oh! oh a beautiful use of the body by Walden against Tony Witts. It's a Gary Ablett type mark then. Stuck out the hip and just pulled it in with one hand. I don't think Andrew Walden's got a lot of time from Andrew Witts, and I think he would have enjoyed that. No, even though that was his brother, Tony. Tony, was <laughs> But Walden, that was a beautiful mark. And he'll be shooting from about 30. His kicking foot's let him down so far today. Let's see how he goes with this one. Lines it up. I think he's missed yet another. Yep. We've only got him down for one goal on the board so far. Wally, I'd love to know how many points he's kicked. How, how many points? 
Walton. Pazowski the kick in. Terrell in front of Seckel. And Seckel putting physical pressure on Terrell. Terrell wide to centre wing. Again, indirect footy. Paddle over the back by Andrew Witts. Main the interception. Smith. High ball. Walden caught at the back. Good use of the body once more. Almost held that one off the ground. Was a chance again, but wide in the volley. Uh, Wim's looking to be making a change. Looks like Yusinov will be coming back on the ground. Just warming up. Witts with a penalty kick. Looks like he's done exactly the same thing and popped it out of bounds on the floor. Harry with a free kick. Trying to centre the ball. Looking for Walden again. He got his hands to it. Couldn't bring it down. Through they come. Tanner's there. Can't get the run of it. On to Nichols. Away goes Andrew Witts. Taking the hand pass from Nichols. Out in front of Oliver. Baxter. Keeps the ball in front cleverly. Lovely play, Baxter. Attacking defence. Centre wing. The back Kidgel. A big leap. Over the top of Murphy. And this fellow is absolutely dominating the run. Hope's off, oozing off on. Kidgel goes long. Walden coming from the back. Nudges aside right. That's a free kick. And Wright takes it. Plenty of numbers to feed it off. He gives it to Boyden. Short to Wood. And he should have given it over the top. He may well now. It goes to Smith. Smith should run. Again, no one to kick to. Just Bingham. He has to go short to Terrell. Laid is out of Tanner. Good at spoiling a temp by Tanner on Terrell, but Terrell marks well. He's been one of Owen's best. Bit of a breeze into which he kicks. Dado, Bingham. Dan Arnold dispossessed. Nichols at the fall of the ball. Fine tackle. Loose, Smithers. Stuckey, Dado. Shot for their fifth. Is across the face. Dado's first scoring shot, I think. They moved it well then. Started with Nichols, feeding out the hand pass. He worked hard. Almost deserved a better result. Baxter will bring it back into play. In contrast to OM's kicking out, Baxter's tended to go long with all of his kicks. Armstrong loose in the score. Having said that, this is only the second time he's had to do so. Connell's there, right at the back of the pack. Goes inside, back to Armstrong. Armstrong looking for short. That's a bit too a long. Very good kick. Taken at the back. Terrell runs away with it. Chased by McKenzie. Good effort, McKenzie. Meehan. Meehan with pace. Centering kick. Looking for Steenholt. He's late on the scene. Boyden goes down. Owens with the numbers. Doing it hard, though. Smith. Good bump on him. Nichols. Out to Wood. And Owens looking a touch better. Wide. Three to one. Datto in front has been very quiet. Nice play, Main. Oh, and here's a high tackle on Cardi by Ed Smithers. He ran into trouble in Brett Carty, but he ended up getting the free kick. Connell's got a fly, he's under pressure. It's good, strong hands by Dave Connell. And paid the mark, dragged down afterward. He plays on straight away, he'll go over the top to Tanner. He's got a yard, he goes long. Looking across, he'll be looking for Kidgel perhaps, but little Wes Burns flies up, no, it's Matty Armstrong. Just dropped in nicely. A lot of confusion between those two. Good talking from Andrew Wilde and let Armstrong know it was going to be his ball. Yeah, he's good team footy. And Matty Armstrong will be kicking from about 40 directly in front. Good gutsy mark from the little fella. Lines it up for his first. Nice looking ball off the boot. Crowd seemed pretty happy and it's a, go it's a goal. Taylorbury's 10th, they move on to 10 15 75. OM's 4 2 26 at almost the 11 minute mark of the third quarter. Kidgel again, the bounce favours him. Pats it to the feet of Connell, who fists it forward. Coming through is Nelson. Stuckey. Over the top, over the top of the pack. Dado through. Still with it. Dado gets around Kidgel. Oh, well tackled Bingham. Well done, Don. Bingham wide. Looking for Steenholt. Steenholt, well done. With him, Smith. Good tackle, Smith. Unlucky not to get the free kick as uh, Tony Witts relieves the pressure momentarily. Out to Main. Uh, not Main. Smith. Smith it is. Through comes Armstrong or Burns. It's Armstrong with him. 
is Andrew Witts, linking in with Nelson. Cardi comes in. Good interception. Oh, beautiful tap on by Steenholt to Armstrong. And into the pocket, too high for Darren Seckle, but that was very nice play by the Bloods. That's good team footy. Ball out of bounds in the Hanabry forward pocket. Connell drifts down, Kidgel runs in to do the ruck work. He'll be up against Wright. Kidgel and Wright will fly. Over the top with Seckle. Goes to no one. Connell gets it, hits with a high ball up towards Walden. He's in front, can't mark Armstrong. No, he's a Burns on the ground. Picks it up, has a snap. The crowd like it's a great snap from the Rover, but it's just one point from Wes Burns. Good roving then. 10 16 to 4 2. Almost 13 minute mark. Ball comes back. Tony Witt will put it back into play. The margin is 50 points. Darren Williams warming up. Well, no, insurmountable. Well, that's a dangerous kick by Tony Witts and not touch, was it? No, that's so penalty kick. No. Penalty kick. Was it touched? No, according to the boundary umpire, he touched it just inside didn't the say, line. I didn't think he indicated. No. Don't know. Anyway, play goes on. Tanner, hurried kick. A bit too hurried and it's out in the full. Tony Witts will take the kick. Armstrong is off. For Darren Williams, the big fella who got dragged in the first quarter for giving away a 50 metre penalty. He's back on the ground. Little bloke off, big bloke on. I think Armstrong's carrying an injury. Yeah, Armstrong looked very proppy after that uh, half time interval. Up they fly anyway. Ball's on the ground. There's a free kick to Williams and we'll go to Murphy. Against Mark Seckle, I think. Dave Connell, Murphy plays on. Hands off to Andrew Witt. He's on the left, goes towards the centre. At there, Smith's all on his own. Not a good kick. Smith goes back. He'll be looking for the long one. Pops in towards full forward. Waldo's got to fly. He gets up high. Burns overrun at the back of the pack. Down there's Nichols. He gives it, gives it off. OM's going wide now. Towards the back flank. That's a good strong mark in front of Maine. Smithers links in with the running Boyden. Oh, well tackled Maine. Penalty kick. Advantage to Tanner. The Bloods go forward. Wide is Connell. He's loose at half forward. Feeding it off. Well, thinking about it to Smith, but he steadies and shoots, but misses. Game opening up just a fraction. There's a great tackle by Fraser Main. Deserved a bit better than that point from Dave Connell. 51 points the difference now. Pazarski looks for Wright. With him, Kidgel, who's in front. Good spoiling by Wright. In comes Burns. Into the back of Wright. Wright battles on, trying to get it out. Wood. And a tired looking Boyden sees the line, the ball go over the line in front of the Pavilion. Andy Langford Jones will be there grinning. Now he's on uh, Muggs Hill, I think. Kidgel backhands it. Great pace by Meehan. Chipping it towards Darren Seckle. Connell has been brilliant. Oh, straightens up, should go. Connell lines him up, puts it through. Halibri get there, 11. And the lead now is 56 points. It was an inspirational goal from Dave Connell. Had all the time in the world, just strolled through, popped it through. Nice bounce in the centre. Kidgel gets a big fist to Mark Seckle, who's playing in front. Hooks it back nicely towards the square. Walden's at the back. Oh. Lead Rovers. That's a magnificent mark, Andrew Walden. Using the body, pulled it in one-handed yet again. He's at it. Bit of trouble with his kicking today, but I don't think he should have much difficulty from here. He'll be kicking from about 15 metres directly in front. Started with Ian Kidgel in the centre with a big thump. Mark Seckle played in front, hooked it back, and just left it to the full forward to do the rest. Haylerbury's 12th. They're getting away from our Wems now. 17 minute mark. He's kicked three now, Wally. Score 12, 17, 89. OM's 4 2, 26. OM's about to make a change. Curtis is about to come back on for OMs. After struggling in the first quarter, trying to uh, counteract the, the height of Kidgel. Dado off for OMs. Now Curtis can't go into the ruck because the ball's back in the square. It's right up against Kidgel. Just one man on the offensive side, that's McKenzie. And 
We wait for the big fist from Kidgel. Oh, right gets into him. Smith with magnificent pace. Streams forward. Has a shot. And that is magnificent running football. From Wayne Smith, that's his second. Started Kidgel, got mucked up in the centre bounce, but he got it away. It's another goal to Halebury. Their 13th. <laughs> Eight a minute mark, how did we just kick two in two minutes? Two in 20 seconds. One by Curtis is in the ruck, that was a good move. Smith, back to Curtis, running hard, Backstop. Oliver, Bennett. but Bennett. Bennett is in the way. Strong mark under pressure from Oliver. Wide, Curtis misses it. Boyden, hand pass, Murphy, trying to run at the OMs, Nichols. Oh, lovely interception. Constable. Didn't look. Kicks it straight to Terrell. A better option in board was Armstrong. Oh. Oh, Terrell's... Oh, Smith's got the fumbles. Out to Boyden. And in the end, done it very poorly, Cam Smith. OK, your boundary throw in on the centre wing. Kidgel in front, gets the ball back towards Connell. Picked up by Meehan. He hooks it back around his body. Where's Burns? His lacks height, but gets in front. That's a great mark from the little fella. Used his body nicely. And he'll be having a shot. Kicking from about 35 or 40. Something of an angle. Might struggle. He's not a long kick. He's not a long kick, Burnsy. He lines him up. They've got their confidence up. And it's a goal. It's his second for Burns. Not a long kick according to Lascock, but he got the distance through easily that time. And Again, Halby have the roll, the run on. Terrell being probably OM's best. Kidgel showing great pace. Good she shepherd from uh, Maine, Tanner. Oh, good tackle, Curtis. Terrell has lost a boot, flips it into Nichols. Running. Centering kick, but only as far as Constable. Flips it out, Baxter. Con calling to run, he kicks long. Steenholt. Steenholt. Good mark. Everything going right for the Bloods now. Good running, Smith. Fine, Shepherd. Steenholt on the left foot. Burns as marked again. He's kicked two in the quarter, and possibly a third coming up. Great running footy. Started with Constable okay, picking it up. You kick this. Burns runs around and kicks number three. And Halebury's 15th, and they are running right over the OMs. 15 17 107, 4 2 26 after 21 minutes. Okay, back. Halebury 15 17 to OMs 4 2. Kidgel's been dominating all day in the ruck, and he gets a favourable bounce, goes with a big fist. It's almost to the edge of the square. Steenholt's behind, gets the ball nicely, gives it off to McKenzie, who steadies. Goes long into the square. And I think he's popped it through for another one to McKenzie. It's all a bit too easy now for Halebury. 16, 17, 1, 13. Times 4, 2, 26. Just as we approach the 22 minute mark. Seven goals in the quarter in 22 minutes to nil. And possibly more to come. Nichols. In there had first possession. Curtis locks it in. Umpire Green will bounce. Valuable time wasted for the OMs. Curtis up against Kidgel. Kidgel in control. Curtis all over Kidgel. Kidgel gets the free. Darren Circle leads early. It's going to go over his head. Walden will fly. Gets a push from Wits. Umpire obscured. Smith tackled by Seckle as the kick goes wide. Interception by Smith. Now, lots of uh, purpose about Halibri's play. Centering kick. Walden. He had numbers against him. Pazarski <laughs> dribbles it back in the direction of his own goal. Oh, and the second... Oh, kick by Pazarski. Again, they go wide. Boyden. At half back, Webb calling for it in the middle. Arnold going wide to 
the forward flank. That's where he is. Over the top he comes. Number six. Mackenzie at the fall of the ball, chipping it oh, over the head. It's Boyden once more. Stucky's loose in the centre. And Mark's under pressure in the centre. Not sure quite what to do. Oliver's led well up from full forward to centre forward. Still has possession. Turns. Webb's short. He'll run in and possibly kick OM Swift inside the 50. The pass to Smithers is good. And Smithers kicks OM's fifth goal, their first for the quarter. And there are not even many ironical cheers. 16, 18, 1, 14, 5, 2, 32 after 24 and a half minutes. It was a uh, very badly needed goal by OM's. Kidgel gets the knock again. Curtis gets the ball, gets it back towards centre half forward. Nice explored by Bennett. Smithers couldn't get a kick away. It's a bit of a pile up there. Curtis comes out of the ball, the big fella. He pops it forward again. Baxter's in front and marks on his chest. Runs on straight away. Goes wide looking for Smith. It's over his head. It's cut off by Borden, I think. Can't pick up the ball. Back to Nichols. Goes wide. Caught. Boyden. Long again. It's all Halebury. Oh. Kidgel couldn't bring it down. And Burns racing hard at the ball in back pocket. Now we're into time on. 30 seconds of time on in the third quarter. Seven goals to one to the Bloods. Three in the quarter to Burns. Connell, Mackenzie, Smith and Walden have also kicked goals. Snap forward by Wits. Has it gone 10 metres? Stucky was up a mile. Won't come out. Temper shot at goal by Webb, who's kicked two, close to the line, but Constable comes through, showing courage and strength. Taking hand pass to Bennett. In board. Carty, oh, that's a courageous mark. Goes on with it too. Mackenzie should have shepherd. Carty goes long. Bit too long for Walden. Pazarski at the back. And <laughs> he's put his team out under great pressure and Didn't Tony Wetz, who deliberately paddled it out of bounds. And Darren Sickle had something to say to him about that too. Now there'll be a free kick here. I would suspect against Rick Pazarski. Yep. Goes to Darren Sickle. He just ran in from behind. It was unnecessary. Darren Sickle will have a shot. Rick Pazarski, the veteran, getting a bit rattled there. And who could blame him? Darren Sickle. Hasn't dominated today, but he'll be having a shot for goal. Pretty acute angle. It's drifted forward. One point only. 27 minute mark, 16-19, I think. Two OMs, 5-2, or perhaps 16-18. It's pretty academic, the points at this stage. Which goes long looking for Curtis. Fraser Main will fly from behind, but Curtis, the big fella, stands his ground, takes a strong mark. Goes wide, pretty awkward looking kick, but it comes off. Bingham tackles a bit too freely and is penalised 50 metres. And Webb will just about be within scoring range with the shot now. As we approach the 28 minute mark. He's already kicked two goals, two out of five for Webb, going for his third. Left foot kick, not there with the distance or accuracy. Lobs in the goal square. Somebody flies from behind, almost takes a great mark. The ball has rushed through from behind. Oliver. As Oliver was flying high. Holmes now 5 3 33, trailing Haderbury 16 19, 115. With three and a half minutes into time on. Baxter, a massive kick. <laughs> Beautifully rode by McKenzie. Takes two bounces. Goes inside to the coach, me, and back to McKenzie. He'll be looking for something now. Goes short to Seckle. Oh, drop what he should have taken. Gets it back towards his brother. Not a good hand pass. And the ball's loose in the centre. Coming through as Andrew Witz gets it over the top. Back to, back looking for Witz again. Can't do anything with it. Comes back to Bingham. On the left. Goes wide. There's Hardery blokes everywhere. Tanner's got it. He's a mile clear. He's looking to do something. He's going across looking for, I think that's Mian. 
Hooks it back over his shoulder. It's gone a mile in the air. Connell will fly from behind trying for the punch. Ball hits the ground. It's out of bounds. Couldn't be much time left in this quarter. 29 minutes gone. Hale will be enjoying an 82 point lead at this stage. Over the top, Seckle. The high tackle. Well, it against going him. the other way. Looked like he handballed it from here, but. Didn't make any attempt to get rid of it. Says our expert, Smith. <laughs> uh, sees it the way the umpires do. Running onto the ball, Wood. Picked up by Williams, gets it back inside. Collin will fly. He's the only one who did, but couldn't bring it down. Seckle nudges somebody out. He's on his right foot, trying for the miraculous banana kick, but it went out on the full. 30 minutes gone this third quarter. 16-19 to 5-3. It's become a bit of a bath. Seven goals to one by Hardaway in this quarter so far. Witz goes very short. So short, in fact, he's almost hit the wear wool sign on the full. Wasn't a good kick at all. Well, it's been a good move to have Witz back there, except that uh, his kicking's let him down. I think it's the second time he's, uh, he's had a direct kick and uh, popped out in the full. Now, what's going on now? Are we going for a second kick? or the, bl the ball probably didn't come into play, I suppose, so that's oh. why it's a throw-in. It is a throw-in in the pocket. Well, that's how bad the kick was. Terrell Rucks with Darren Seckle. Uh, through comes Curtis, misses it. Steenholt working hard at ground level and blocking it up. As the siren sounds for three-quarter time, 16, 19, 115, Old Only Melbourne in 5, 3, 33. That's an 82-point lead. Three-quarter time in the B Start of the last quarter, a B-grade grand final. Up they go, Kidgel couldn't get to that one. Curtis gets the ball. Meehan comes through. He's offloaded. Owens go forward. Running with the fly of the ball's cart. He takes a very gutsy mark. Looks to play on, gives it away to Bingham straight away on the left. Goes wide to Bennett, who marks. Plays on straight away, he's on his left foot. Goes up the flank looking for Tanner. Holds his ground, can't mark. Krauss is there. He's been quiet today, Krauss. I think he's just come back on the ground, hasn't he, Krauss? He's been back on the ground after three quarter time. That's probably why he's been quiet for those <laughs> last two quarters. <laughs> yeah, I think he went off halfway through the second quarter from memory. Yeah, Alan Stoneham asked uh, the players to lift in the last quarter. Otherwise, they'd think about this for the rest of their lives, and they will anyway, even if they were to kick 10 goals. Witt's getting the free, looking very sore. Swings into a left-footed kick. Oh, Bingham! Reminiscent of some of the grabs he took in last year's grand final against Banyol. Gives it off to Bennett on the left foot. Fall short. Can't be marked. Ball's on the ground. Connell comes in. Lays on a strong tackle. Still fighting hard. Ball comes loose again. Off to Steenhold. No Tanner. Ball comes through. Williams uses his strength on the left. Goes wide. Connell probably be the first one there. Ball comes back. Connell's got it in front of him. Swings it back looking for Meehan. Ball's knocked away, comes through Williams again. Gives it out wide looking for Meehan. And the ball runs out of bounds and Hardbury's half forward flank. Well, the coach said at the start of this season he was looking for back-to-back -back premierships and I think he may well have achieved that aim. Ball on the ground, it's flicked out to Nichols. Can't get a kick away to Connell. Goes back to McKenzie. He's got all the time in the world. Heads towards full forward in front's Walden. Over his head, but Armstrong burns at the back. He's popped through his third. No. It's his third goal. Where's Burns? Hattery 17-19. Old Melbourne is 5-3, two minutes into the last quarter. Kidgel a lovely tap. McKenzie feeds it off to Connell. Wood, using off, right caught out of position, Constable wasn't, good grab from Arnold, Stuckey running into the open goal, puts through the AM's sixth goal. 
Umpire Brett Green bounces it. Kidgel, been unchanged in the ruck all day. Gets a favourable bounce, looks for Connell. Curtis cuts him off. Fraser Main picks it up nicely. He's on the left, goes towards the wing. There's no one home. Krauss leading in the race for the ball. Player with pace, can't pick it up. He's under the hammer, finally does so. Goes wide over the top. Looking for Main's going back. The coach heads looking for Seckle. It's over his head, no one can mark. Darren Williams slips over at the crucial moment and legs his opponent. And Webb will take the free kick. Stuckey gives him the lead. Out in front, a bit too far for him. Spoiled by Borden and strong mark to Smith. Gets around Stuckey. Got Arnold coming in from the side. Up towards Seckle <coughs> with Williams. Oh, Seckle got the grab. Burns. Seckle doesn't know where it is. Williams does. Oh, coming through like a train was Webb. Boyden. <coughs> Very good. Seckle. Crude. So is Boyden. Again they go wide. Neil Wright. Constable will punch. That's a good one too. Nelson. McKenzie. Tackled out to Smith. And that was out, I thought. Now Bandarapo disagreed. Seckle. Meehan goes towards the goal square. Walden sets himself in front. Can't marks on the ground. Darren Seckle comes through over the top. <coughs> no one home. Wits thumps it towards the boundary line. <coughs> uh, the blood's in attack. <coughs> McWilliams. Burns. Oh, nice sidestepping. Clever hand pass to Krause. He puts it through. The 18th goal on the board for Halebury. <coughs> and the lead stretches out to, what's that, 88 points. And... Colin gives it to me and streams out of the centre. Goes short, not a particularly good kick. And it's a good strong mark over the top of Krause. By Wood. Wood goes back. He's going to go across the ground. Looking for Nelson, but coming through strongly with Stuckey. Gives it to Nelson now, he's on his left. Goes up the flank. Bennett's in front, but over the top was Arnold. Recovers well, gives it to Witts. Back inside to Smithers. Smithers, can he keep it in? No, he can't. It's out of bounds on the OM's forward line. Fraser Main looking a little bit weary. Quite indirect football, haven't they? Yeah. Bingham will fly against Wright. <coughs> Meehan's got it. Flicks it under, underground to Main. Hoping to go over the top to Smith. Finally does so. We'll go inside to Connell. Not a particularly good hand pass. Curtis Ooh. comes through. Connell goes through fearlessly. Great tackle by Smith. Going through Smithers. Tries to back himself against Williams. who's too big. Connell goes very long now to Kidgel, who's got all the time in the world. Drives it long. There's Noam's man down behind play. That's a great strong mark by Walden. The big fella Curtis is down behind play. Result of that clash with Connor. <laughs> Walden, does he drift across? He's kicked his fourth. And that's 19 goals to Halebury at the eight minute mark of the last quarter. And you're on. Umpire Wisen with a bounce. From the side, it's Arnold. It's Shark though. By Tanner up to oh. Walden. He's missed Wits with a oh, backhander. Tony Wits. Playing for the free. There was a backhander there, but just trying to shrug his opponent aside. And Wallow didn't mind it doing missed. so. Wallow looking for his fifth goal. Could have had possibly ten by now if he'd kicked straight. Uh, oh. Is it drifting back? I think it might have. And it's Hillary's 20th goal. And they move to a 100 point lead now. And. Pretty wobbly old bounce, Kidgel up, no one can get it. Curtis comes through strongly. Mackenzie's grabbed and will take the free kick. 
Kenzie goes towards the flank. Williams is there. Seckle flies and marks pretty much unopposed. Goes short to shocking kick. Looking for Burns. He's out there. He's got time. Side steps. He's back on his left. Goes short again. Looking for Walden. On the strength. He's marked and Wits doesn't like that decision. <laughs> Did he hold it long enough? He certainly got both hands to it. He'll be going for his sixth. He's missed that one. And right across the face and out of bounds on the floor. Pazarski. He's going to thump it long. Stucky calling for it. Terrell will fly with right. Big fist by Seckle. And so predictable that play. We've gained uh, about 30 metres. Low percentage sort of play from defence. Curtis a push and kids will get to free. Curtis yeah, shoved him sideways. Kids will take the free kick. I mean, by far the best big man on the ground, close to the best man all over. Kids was lining up. It's a nice big roost right into the square. Up the pack flies, somebody's brought it down. <laughs> and it's Mark Seckle. You are Twirls the ball a la Mark Jackson. Well, we've got to say it wasn't a bad grab. It's not a tall timber down there. Mm. It's missed. And he's missed it. Much to yeah, the light of the OM crowd. Us speaking points. Smith with the kick at half back. Right. Needs to run it. Awful option for the forwards. Over the back. Kedgel, and he's marked that. Feeds it out better to Constable, who's been a good player in defence. Pinpoint accurate kick towards Connell, who's been a fine player. He's on half forward. Leading short is Kraus. The kick high. Kraus is strong. Fights on. Almost had it, then he didn't. Smith, circle from the boundary line, spears it in. Tanner. One point only. Thirteen minute mark, 2021, 141 to 6339, 102 points the difference. Now it was run from defence, Andrew Witts. <coughs> Trying to do too much. Will he use the ball well? In towards Arnold. Is it centre half forward or on the flank? Interception. Carty. Quickly. Kraus in the square. Seckle wanting it. <coughs> Kraus goes long. Darren Seckle in front. Always has got a mark in front of Pazarski. Things have slowed down a bit now. There's no doubt about the result, just what the final score will be. Well, the captain would like to uh, get his name in the scorebook for this grand final victory. In the paper. But from 40 metres, the captain goes goalward and the goal umpire doesn't move. 21st goal on the board for the Bloods. And exactly 18 goals in front. Back in the centre, Kidgel to fly, Curtis beats him that time, Connell gets the ball away, ball still up in the air, hits the ground, through comes Bingham, scoops up beautifully on the left foot, heads towards Walden, he's in front, goes up one-handed, at the back the veteran Pazarski, unsure what to do, finally gets his boot to ball, goes very wide. Out there, juggled Mark. The players moving a bit slower now, 
Somebody gets to sit there, the ball's on the ground. It's good work. Back to Bingham. He's been strong at centre half back. Goes forward looking for Mark Seckel, who takes the mark, hands it off to Krauss, who steadies to have a shot for goal. Won't make the distance. Walden holds him out beautifully. All clear. Haleby get number 22 on the board. 19 goals the difference. 114 points, the lead, 16 minutes gone, final quarter. Owens waiting for the siren, Kidgel out of the middle. <coughs> Bouncing ball, oh, a high tackle, going to Peter Wood. Again they go wide, very wide indeed, far too wide. In front Smith, oh yes, in front of Arnold. Been a good player Smith. Seckel, Walden, oh Mark Seckel, too strong, too tall, big leap. Yes, he's played well hasn't he? He's provided a focal point down there, he's taking some strong marks today, he'll line him up, kicking from the 45 metre line. Pretty fine looking kick, ball ends in the square. Krauss gets it on his left, flicks it over his head, and I think he kicked his fourth, he has. And by Peter Wiseman, Kedgel another hit out. Nichols been pretty quiet. Tanner, Nichols held after he got rid of the ball by Kedgel. <coughs> Stuckey's given a lead, so is Oliver. The Oliver in front, fisted away, Connell at the fall of the ball, running through, but losing it was Maine. McKenzie, oh, a lovely kick, Kidgel, Tanner. Tanner it is, gee, good mark against Boyden, great skills and kick at the end, through Darren Seckles' hands. Strong play, Kraus, over to Mark, uh, Darren Seckle, Mark Seckle it is, <laughs> <laughs> right the first time, and Mark Seckle gets his second. And how easy is this? And you got a minute? I think we could say it'll be a hot time in the old town of McKinnon tonight. Kidgel takes it out of the centre. Gets it to Connell. Darren Williams comes through. Looks like he's wearing white socks. Gets it out wide towards Krauss. Krauss has got the run of the ball. Gets it back over his head looking for Williams. Williams picks it up back to Krauss. Playing keepings off out there. Nothing to do with it. Darren Seckles there waiting for something to happen. Bit of a stacks in the middle. The umpire will ball it up. Quick, quick, quick. 20 okay. minutes gone. Oh, shark by Burns from the angle. And he's missed it. More direct kick this time, in the direction of right. Connell lines up from 45 and puts it through. 25th goal and Connell kicks just his second and this just gets easier and easier. Hadley have kicked nine goals to one. 20 and a half minute mark in the last quarter. Connell thumps it down, Burns has grabbed when he has, hasn't got it and will take the free kick. Plays on straight away. Goes fairly short, looking for Seckle over his head. Chipping in nicely as a veteran, Rick Pazarski takes a chest mark. He plays on, runs wide. Heads towards the wing. Backing back, Stuckey takes a good mark, plays on straight away. Goes in board to Andrew Witts, who's on his left foot. Heads towards centre half forward. Is that Oliver on the lead? Oh, and he's getting giving 50 metres against Billy Baxter for falling on top of him after he marked it. But never mind. Get up, you faggot. And Oliver will pop through a regulation goal from the square. How much room on that tape left? Ball's bounced, Kidgel up, gets the knock once more. Simon Meehan raves it beautifully, keeps tapping it on. 
through Krause's legs. Meehan still there, follows it up. He's run 100 metres in better than even time, but left the ball behind. Ball goes wide. Smith's got it. He's got a back to himself. It was a good tackle. Fell out. Bennett knocks it head nicely. Bennett on his right foot. Good work. Goes towards the centre to McKenzie. It was great a great, from Bennett. great kick. McKenzie on the left. Heads across looking for Meehan, but he's picked off nicely. Terrell to Tony Witts. Wide, no option there. It's Peter Wood. First there, Williams. With Murphy. Wood gets it, but interception. By Carty. Desperate play. Out to Meehan. Applause from the crowd. Meehan goes long. Walden and one out with Witts. They both go down. Oh, I couldn't see that one. They both fell. I couldn't see that either way. Play on. It should have been the call. Witts takes a free kick. Kicks on his wrong foot. Out to Nelson. Oh, Smith. Supreme. He's been a good player. Loose men everywhere. One of them is Burns. Mark's unopposed at set a half forward. Walden calling for it in the pocket. Witts leaves him. He has to because Connell is loose. Bad bounce for Connell. Went square. Wood at half back. Chased by Connell. Well done because they've got the numbers. And then a very ticky touch would free. A lucky one for the OMs. Umpire Green saying uh, Connell held Wood too long. Good interception by Tanner. Rove well by Smithers. Out to the flank. Wright comes in, good shepherd. Oh, Usenoff well tackled. Williams, they're doing it so easily, Halebury. Out of the back by Bingham. Just a bit too tall for me, but his recovery is brilliant. Through the middle he goes, looks for Walden in front of Tony Witts. That's a good spore from Witts. Kraus, kick three this quarter. Still, they throw themselves in, oh. and again he's picked out a strange free kick to Nichols. Well, that's that old no one on the mark, Nichols can run, but he can't because he's got a crook ankle. Finds Curtis. Someone's down behind play, using off loose at half forward. Running in, he's not a great kick. He passes to Oliver, who drops it. Baxter, locking it in. Bennett, paddles it out. Oliver, had a poor day. Kick two though, no chance for number three as he goes over the line. As we're into time on by 10 seconds in the B section grand final. Fraser Main down behind play with what looks like cramp. But I'm sure in about five minutes' time it won't feel quite so painful. Throw in is knocked over the line again straight away. It's been a sensational performance by the Bloods today. They've won both finals by over 20 goals. Might have Stan searching the uh, <laughs> record books for that one. Picked up by Bennett, goes straight up the centre towards Meehan, who's come to his own this last quarter. Gives it to Connell, who's got a paddock. Just taps it over, playing volleyball back to Tanner. I think they're showing off now. Tanner's going right across back to Connell. He'll probably be looking for Kraus wide, but it's back to Meehan in the centre, who streams goalward. Has a pot shot, but I think he's off target, and so he is. It's one point only, 25-23, 173 to OM, 7345, 26 minute mark of the last quarter. Brett Steenhold's gone on for Fraser Main. He's come off with cramp. Zaski to kick off. Why don't they go down the middle? Webb was loose in the middle. Instead, he's gone out to Curtis, just in play. Gets a bit of a razz from the crowd. Stuckey leads up the middle. There's Webb. Now, it should have gone there about 20 seconds ago. He's been loose all that time. Smithers leads to the flank. In short is Stuckey. Connell, the interception, oh. a bit late. Oh, Connell's whacked him one. <laughs> Well, you heard our comment from our cameraman. If it wasn't from us. <laughs> Could be a Watergate if the evidence got the tape for investigation. Curtis is caught by McKenzie. Witts still with it. Boyden, another tackle. Good one by McKenzie. Tanner gets a bump. Stucky, not sure what to do. He kicks long. Oliver will be out muscled and Bingham over the top. Effortless mark. Chased away by Wright. And it's so easy now. Me and pinpoint accuracy. Burns is loose. Many options. One of them oh. was Darren Seckle. The kick a poor one. Bozarski, the trundling giants. He kicks it wide. Does it well, the old fellow. And happy to see it go over the line. 27 and a half minutes gone. 128 points, the lead. 
They kicked nine goals this last quarter, Hartlebury. Darren Seckle will fly, knocks the ball out the back. There's Meehan again, broke first through the pack. He's on his right foot, kicks towards the point of the square, unopposed, David Connell, who else? Will mark and should goal from there. He's played a fabulous game, Dave Connell. In fact, there haven't been too many passengers out there at all today. Connell going for his third goal, second for the quarter. Decides to do up his laces instead. Come on, Connell. We've got so much film. Connell finally lines up, going for Hillary's 26th as we approach the 28 and a half minute mark. I think he's missed it, so he has a point only. 25-24-174 plays 7-3-45. Wits to kick out. Goes wide again. That's a good strong mark by Wright. Neil Wright, as we approach the 29 minute mark of the last quarter, Right, awkward style of kick. Murphy, still a bit of run. Interception, Bingham, out to Kraus. He'll gather this in and run. Flips out the hand pass to Seckle. Back in board to Constable, who's run from defence to the 50 metre line. The pass to Darren Seckle, once more too high for the big fellow. Marked by Curtis. He goes long, he's got Webb. Webb at the back, block for a run at the ball. Nelson gathers, under pressure. Boyden, who's had a reasonably good second half, into Stuckey, couldn't trap it. Bennett lost it. Interception was Steenholt. Over to Bennett, onto the left, fires in and big Curtis gets in the way. Witz goes long, clears the pack. Boyden with Steenholt. Oliver, can he kick his third? Straightens up. Oh, it's the battle of the uh, Jack and the Beanstalk. Oh, and that's great. The Beanstalk hands. has taken it. Bingham. Yeah. Great hands, Johnny Bingham. Had a uh, minor height advantage over Uzelnov there and used it to fully. Off to Bennett, who's run pretty well out of that back pocket today. Hits up towards Crash, who marks easy. He'll go over the top to the coach, who picks it up, who straightens up back onto his right, stops dead. And goes looking for the big fella Kidgel, who's been sensational. Though. He's got the ball. He, oh, he goes for the balk and then puts it on the ground, straightens up and has a pot shot. Connell lurks dangerously at the back, flies oh. and he's taken a screamer. And I think the crowd thought he was interfered with afterwards and the goal umpires come over to have a chat to someone. Dave Connell gets the, gets the mark. He lines up from the near impossible angle. 31 minutes. Yeah. Goes for the banana kick and gets it. 26, it's his third goal. Lead 135 points. Interception by Meehan. Fantastic second half. Kraus pushing and shoving. Tanner. Oh, number 27 could be coming up. No, it's a stray. 136 points, the lead. 32 minutes gone. Connell and Kidgel, clearly the best two. Men on the ground, would you agree? Yeah, I would think so. They've played four quarters. Kidgel's been unbeatable in the ruck. Connell, interested to see his stats after the game. Bernie. Bennett's going to have to fly. But outmarked by Arnold. Up towards Stuckey as the siren sounds. And the final score, 26-25, 181. OM 7-3-45, a 36... 136 point win with Walden kicking five, Kraus four, Connell three, Burns three, and two each to Meehan and Seckle. Singles to Steenholt, Armstrong, Tanner, S Darren Seckle, and Mackenzie and, and Smith got two. Fantastic performance, back to back flags. Not much more to be said. I hope we've got a shot of that scoreboard. Pete? Yeah, I've got it. I'm going to Save it for this. Yeah. Kill it, Pete. Oh, I just gave it down. Now kill it now and then get make sure you get the cup and all that.
last year in the C section and again today in the B section. I'll go through the from the, uh, the hierarchy down. President of the club, Ken Allison, please come forward, please. Thank you. 